Hi, everyone. Today, we are going to introduce everyone to our two resident Asian small claw otters, Luna and Emerald. They are seven years old and are sister born in the same litter. It is rare that you would see one without another close by. They are not indigenous to the United States. Asian otters are naturally found in Indonesia, New Guinea, the Philippines, southern India, and China. They are also the most vocal species. Luna and Emerald often sounds like a small chorus of chirping birds. Believe it or not, this species of otter uses up to 12 different calls for communication. Did you know that Asian otters get the name small claw because if you look at their partially webbed paws, they have very small nails that do not extend beyond the pad of their toes. They have excellent sense of touch and coordination and are able to catch and manipulate their prey with their paws and they use their paws to eat their food like we do. They have long, sleek and streamlined bodies which allow them to swim easily through the water and using their tail for balance. No wonders Luna and Emerald are excellent swimmers. Training sessions provide mental stimulation for our otters. The most important reason of why we train is so they can participate in their own veterinary care, what we call husbandry training. Today, we're going to show everyone some of the husbandry behaviors that Luna and Emerald know. Crating is one of the most important behaviors we train our otters. The girls know how to voluntarily enter their crates upon request. This can be very useful here in the Panhandle of Florida as weather anywhere can be unpredictable and in a situation such as hurricane, we would want to relocate our otters to a safer area. Not only can we use crating during an emergency, it is also useful during the otter's yearly vet visit. Here, Luna is demonstrating her crating behavior. Good job, Luna! Here at the Golfarium, we take Luna and Emerald's weights twice a week to make sure that they are in the good range. Asian small claw otters are the smallest of the world's 13 otter species, typically between 28 to 40 inches in length and weight up to 11 pounds. Enrichment is an important part of daily life for all the animals here at the Golfarium. This can be anything that allows the otter to elicit natural behaviors, such as hunting, foraging, and social interaction, and this can come in many forms, including new toys to interact with, window play, ice toys, bubbles, or hiding food around the exhibit, or in the water to encourage them to forage. Asian small claw otters are currently listed as vulnerable on the IUCN red list which means that they are facing a risk of global extinction and their populations are currently in severe decline. The biggest threat they face is the destruction of their freshwater wetland habitat and pollution of their food supply due to tea and coffee plantations and the pursuit of harvesting palm oil. As simple as recycle and properly dispose of your trash and buying coffees and teas that are either fair trade or certified by Rainforest Alliance can really help out this species. For more information on what you can do to help save the Asian small claw otters, please visit golfarium.com slash conservation. Together with the help of other zoos and aquariums, we are hoping to save this amazing species.